Welcome to OK Miniatures. So I started out with a sand dollar for the base and I just added some slop around the bottom to make it square so that it have a nice sandy-ish looking base too. I thought the black paint that I use in slop would make a really nice contrast to the white sand dollar. And uh, yeah, just wanted to try it out. I 3D printed some coral and fish and a shark and a dolphin. I didn't end up using the dolphin, but it was just really fun to print little guys and maybe I'll use that one another time. For the coral, I just found like this thing on Thingiverse. Uh, there was like 15 different types of coral, so I just printed them all and just put them all in there. Not really paying attention to what each type was supposed to be or anything like that. I just had fun with it and made it look kind of cool. I painted them all up, just colors again, not paying attention to what the plants or fish or whatever would actually look like. Uh, sharks kind of close, it's just dark colors, but I mean that's what sharks are, or it could be blue I guess, but I don't know, nothing too crazy on that one. And then I super glued the coral to the base. So I just made, tried to split up the colors a little bit, give them a nice little look. I had a few of the lighter ones off in the dark sand base just to give it some contrast. And then I glued some fish in the coral and also for the fish who are swimming I used some plastic and bent the plastic and super glued the fish to the plastic to give it like get them off the bottom so that there wouldn't just be like an inch of clear resin on the top, but there'd be like fish swimming through it. And then I poured the epoxy. So like last time there was a lot of bubbles, so I'm not really sure what I'm doing wrong. I tried pour it down the sides of the container and that seemed to help. And then I stirred it and there was a bajillion bubbles. So yeah, I gotta figure something out for that. Maybe it's just the type of epoxy I'm using maybe I'm just incompetent and then again like last time there was these giant bubbles that kept coming out and I think it's because those sand dollars are actually hollow and there was like a little hole that air might have been coming through as epoxy slowly went in there it's my best guess I need to stop using air filled things but they look cool so When the epoxy was finished, there was this big dip on the top and I was going to grind it off and like polish it and make it all pretty. But then I noticed that the shark had actually like tipped up so he was getting kind of close to the surface. I didn't want to like grind it and accidentally grind off his face. So I just mixed up a little bit more epoxy and poured it on top and that did a pretty good job of getting it flat. There were some bubbles on the surface that wouldn't pop and so they're just kind of there but there's also bubbles like coming up from the sand dollar so I figured it's not the most glaring issue. When the epoxy was dried I pried it out of the mold. So looking at it, it looks pretty good at a glance. Obviously the shark is tilted kind of funny so that's not great but it still looks pretty good and then I realized you can actually still see the clear plastic so that's not so good it was a pretty sturdy plastic so I wonder if using a thinner one would have helped and then I also noticed that the plastic is actually like warped so some of the fish are like swimming on their sides and all sorts of shenanigans going on and that just looks pretty bad if you stop and look at it from the side it looks okay except the one fish is like actually swimming on his side um, which is pretty pathetic but ignoring the fish or like just glancing at it glancing at the fish I guess I think it looks pretty cool I um, feel like I'm learning a lot from these epoxy projects like I have a lot to go yet I have to figure out 
what plastic to use. Apparently this plastic reacted with the epoxy and like melted a little bit or softened so that they warped. That's not good. I gotta figure out how to avoid that basically. Um, but yeah, super fun to do. If you enjoyed this, enjoyed watching this video, please hit the thumbs up and if you like to see more train building, diorama sort of content, please consider subscribing. And with that, I'll see you in the future.